When it comes to the makeup of wildfire smoke, there's much more there than meets the eye. You know, the thing that we see the most would be the particles, you know, tiny particles. That's because it's made up of invisible gases like carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide, as well as tiny particulate matter, which can be smaller than a tenth the diameter of a human hair, but in high concentrations can make your city look like this. So that's the, um, the most visible dominant thing. Um, but, you know, those are complex in terms of the chemicals they're made of. Those particles can be solid or liquid and can consist of thousands of different chemical compounds. The smallest are referred to as PM 2.5 and are 2.5 microns or smaller. They can drift thousands of kilometers once aloft. Among the most concerning are polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are produced during the combustion process. But they are, they are known carcinogens uh, and so you know, that's one of the more toxic elements that's that's in you know each breath of the smoke particles that we breathe. The makeup of wildfire smoke can also change as it moves through the atmosphere. Exposure to sunlight, for example, can create gaseous ozone, which, along with PM 2.5 and nitrogen dioxide, is used to calculate the air quality health index. The higher the concentrations, the higher the rating, and the more danger to your health. The good news is you can protect yourself from those particles with a mask, Ideally, an N95, rated to capture particles 0.3 microns and larger. Of course, a high-efficiency mask is only truly effective if it's fitting properly. A few tips. You can choose a mask with headbands instead of ear loops to achieve a more snug fit. And also, you want to make sure that your mask will cover your nose, your mouth, and your chin completely, like so. Now, when you put the mask on, make sure that it has one of these adjustable nose straps so that you can truly form fit the mask to your face and once it's on make sure that there's no room between your cheeks and the mask to ensure that there's no leakage as you go about your day.